primary election day is finally here and polls open in just a couple of hours. Massachusetts is front and center really with one of the country's most watched races We're right now. Talking about incumbent Senator Ed Markey fighting to keep his job and Congressman Joe Kennedy the third fighting to take it. This race, boy, it has been contentious at times. That's right. So we have team coverage this morning, Chris, on both candidates' final push. Diane Cho, live for us in West Roxbury, following the Kennedy campaign. We begin with Monica Medea and JP this morning. And Monica, you're following the market camp this morning. What can you tell us? That's right, Latoya. Senator Ed Markey is campaigning right until the very end. He has a couple of events planned or planned for today, a couple of stops, I should say. He's going to meet with voters here in Jamaica Plain in just a few hours, and then he'll be heading right out to Springfield to meet with some voters at Union Station. Last night, he held a large rally here in the Boston area just to try to earn people's uh, vote once more. This was a drive-in campaign rally in West Roxbury. People stayed in their cars to watch the longtime senator and his supporters explain why he should keep his job and win this tight race that's really had a major shift. So earlier on in the race, Markey was down in some polls, but recently gained a lead and the endorsement of most progressive organizations, the Massachusetts congressional delegation, and many in the party establishment. We're going into game seven. It's tied three to three. Uh, and I'm going to do everything I can with this incredible team uh, in order to make sure that we win tomorrow night. All right, so tonight, Markey will watch the returns come in in his hometown of Malden. And once the results all come in, he expects to give a speech there at the library in town. And now for more on this race, let's go out to Diane Show. Well, Monica, after a late night rally, Congressman Joe Kennedy will be back at it again this morning, trying to reach undecided voters. This campaign has been about going to those places that people are literally underestimated, uncounted, unseen, unheard, and talking to them and saying we can do better. Kennedy hoping to unseat the 74-year-old incumbent by convincing voters a change is needed in Massachusetts. After crisscrossing the state yesterday, he has another packed day ahead of him again today with plans on meeting voters from Boston to Worcester to Bedford as they head to the polls today, promising a new generation of leadership in the Senate. Before Donald Trump came to office, people were struggling and scratching to get by. They still could not afford a place to live in Boston. You still could not afford child care that got your kid off on the right foot. You still were struggling to try to make ends meet with a living wage. And Donald Trump hasn't addressed any of those problems, but he didn't cause them either. This is about a gut check for a Democratic Party. So Kennedy will start his day here in West Roxbury at 7 o'clock and end his night at his campaign headquarters in Watertown. For now, we're live in West Roxbury. Diane Cho, NBC10 Boston. All right, Diane, thank you. Meantime, the winner of the Democratic Party will face the winner of the GOP Senate primary. The race is between Kevin O'Connor, who's an attorney, and fellow Republican Shiva Ayaduri, who ran a failed campaign for Senate in 2018. The general election is coming up on November 3rd.